Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Time for Art Pick 10 Valentine Mystery Hop. How's everybody doing this morning? How's my sound? Clear, not scratchy, I hope. Okay, thanks, Lisa. Yeah, let me know because I've been moving wires around, so hopefully it won't it won't go wonky. I put in a new cord. So how is everybody this morning? I'm gonna say blanket hellos because it's too hard to keep up with, up with everybody in chat. So what a fun morning. This makes me want to start getting up early. I already have a page started. Uh, Beth was on first. She did her background. So I did a background of various colors of pink and red. I like to do brush strokes going up and down. And then Becky came on doing punch outs or cutouts. And so I did some hearts. Tanya was on showing different stencil techniques. So as you can see, here's my stencil technique in the background. Um, and Mary did silhouettes. So I thought I had this cute little uh, kid stencil. So I did a boy and a girl silhouette. So, so who is everybody playing along this morning? This is a fun one. This is an easy one to play along with. And something that I think everybody seems to say, and here I heard Mary say it, that if you're stuck and you don't, you know, you've lost your mojo, do a pick ten or a dirty dozen. I know, uh, I don't know, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, I was kind of in a funk, and I remember watching Aunt Beck's Dirty Dozen, and I did a few of hers, and after doing a few of hers, I just kind of got back in the swing of things. So, so they're fun. So if you see, if you see streams where Dirty Dozen, Pick 10, Props, just hop on and start. So, okay, let's see. Okay, it's 921, so we'll, uh, I'll get started with my prompt. It's good to see everybody here. Um, my prompt is going to be mark making. Mark making is one of my favorite things to do. And there's lots of different ways you can do mark making. Um, the first one, my favorite, of course, is to use markers. So I have, uh, I have some Posca markers, I do have some other markers, but what I like doing is taking different size, different size and different shape tips and do that for mark making. And what I'll do, it's really easy. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some mark making with the Poscas. I'm gonna show you some other ways to mark make, and I'm gonna show you how to make some of your own mark making tools. So hopefully that'll fill up the half hour. All right. So here's what it's basically, when I say mark making, it's just basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm just making marks with color around the page. Can you guys see that? I'll go in a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay. So right now I'm gonna use red, which is kind of blending in a little bit, but it still looks kind of cool. And I'm just gonna go over and do that. We don't need to hear this. All right. And just make random marks across your page. Don't think about it just put them down and it's just kind of fun relaxing so there we've got some red which just kind of blends in a little bit all right 
And then let's take a lighter color. Here, let's do some white. And then make sure uh, the paint underneath is dry so you don't get the you don't ruin the tip of your marker but uh, okay these you'll be able to see a little bit better so just randomly take oops don't like it too juicy hmm that's more like a splot than a mark but just random marks all over your page. And I think I might be able to wipe that off because it's all acrylic paint that I've been using. So if there's something you don't like, use a baby uh, wipe and it should wipe right off. If not, it'll just be some texture. All right, so let's see. Let's just do, yep, because I've used all acrylics. I can just wipe that and my other mark off. Okay. So, yeah, so if you don't like something, just wipe it off before it dries. And then, let's see. I am going to dry this a little bit just so I don't smear any of the white in the red. So if you're doing something with a lot of layers, you want to use something that's not that's not water-based. These are acrylic markers. So I know that if I put something over it, they aren't going to bleed. So that's the only thing you need to be careful about. Uh, markers come in different shapes and sizes. Here's the, I keep using red, which isn't. But just go make marks all over. You can make marks on your heart, not just on your background. Just do dots. Just do little dots all over the place. Not even thinking, just mark them down. Do some dots over here. So now we got polka dot hearts, very easy. Uh, some other mark making we can do. You can take black. Let me find black. Or this is close. Oh, paint's gray. I love paint's gray. Um, we can just go through here. Here, let me pull my screen back since you can't see the whole thing. Pull that back. There, that's better. All right. I'll have to get to later. I gotta run for a bit. Okay, Jane. All right. Who can't get in? Kathy's prompt. <laughs> Mark making, like math making. Mark making is the prompt. Who can't um get pin? Why can't she get in? Who can't get in, Helen? Everybody, I ha everybody should be able to get in. All right, so another thing you can do, you can make marks around some of your cutouts to define them. So you can do this little line so it looks like you stitched around your heart without having to sew. So we can go around here. You can use all different colors for your mark making. Pen said Linda can't get in. Not sure what she means. Linda who? Because I everybody should be able to get in. Huh. Let's 
So just come around, make your marks. Around here, um, if you want it, you can go all the monochromatic. If you want something to pop out, you can use a black or a white. All right, so when we're done with this. There we go. Oh, two more. Yeah, make sure your stuff is dry underneath so you don't smear other marks that you made. Linda is in the Netherlands. My, it could be her connection. Oh, that's too bad. Well, at least there's the, she'll be able to watch the recording later. Okay, so that goes here. All right, so we got some marks around here. So you can use your marks just to define, define any of your art. Make it pop. Just add a little bit more interest. <laughs> Try not to smear. And I find my mark making really relaxing. There. So that's uh, another way to do marks. You can get some, uh, get some, let's do something bright here. How about some bright yellow? Just something to add a little bit of different color in there. Okay, so here, and again, don't think about it. Just do marks, 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 just to help, help add interest to your, to your hearts or whatever it is you're making. Here we go. Just brings it some color. Kind of breaks up the pink and the red. Okay, so there. So if you don't want to use markers, there's other things you can do to make to do some mark making. Um, if you have, okay, let me show you. I have a box of different tools. Let me move my Pascas. Let me put this off to the side. Let me put this up here. Okay, I have some tools here that I like to use. If anybody has done scrap paint booking, you've got these rollers from Stimpendous. Just use use a roller. Uh, I made these different ones with uh, pieces of chipboard. These are chipboard stars glued onto a wooden block. And then I put, I roll out some paint, put my wooden block in the paint, and then I just stamp all over the place. Here's, um, here's another little roller that has hearts on it. I'll probably use that in a minute. These are little little bird chipboard things that I put that I glued onto the wooden blocks. I took some some drywall tape. You know, this drywall tape, it almost looks like gauze. I took some of that, stuck it down to a block, and I'd use that to put make marks all over the page. Here's another piece of uh, chipboard. So I just glued, this is a fun one. I'll use this one and let's see what else. These are empty ones, you know, just little rollers, anything. This came with a hairdryer or something. I'm gonna dip this in paint and just make little marks all over the page. So let's do, let's do this one. 
let's do a roller and let's do this and see what we get. All right, so let me get my paint out. And I think we'll start with, um, let's do a light pink. All right, so put out some light pink paint. And I'm using, today I'm using the Diplick Matte and also the Paper Artsy Fresco paints. So here's what I do. I just put this in my paint and just blot it. Blot it around. I'm trying to keep my silhouettes like silhouettes. Let's put some more paint down. All right, so we got that. And again, anything you can find that you can with that you can dip into paint. To make your background more interesting, a bunch of things I used to get glued to blocks. Oh, help with the messy hands. Yes. Okay, Tanya. Tanya's gonna get some breakfast. So, what are some of uh, what are the some of the things you guys like to use for your mark making? Do you have any favorites that you? It's your go-to mark making tool. Now, I think I'm gonna use this little roller and I think with the roller, I'm going to do some black. So let me dry this. So when I go to use the roller, I'm not smearing my, my paint all over the place. Let me dry this for a minute. Okay, let's see. Oh, bubble wrap and bottle lids. Cool. Bottle cap mark. Yeah, bottle caps. Lots of people like bottle caps. Bubble wrap. Ooh, straw, cork, credit card, gum package. Kimberly, lots of clear stamps just for marks. Cool. Lines with an old credit card. Yep, that's an old standby. Linda uses her fingers. Oh, potato masher, whisk, plastic lids. Oh, that reminds me. I just got something with uh, my rolling pin the other day. I'm going to try that for mark making. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. This came with my rolling pin. I think I'll try that. Let's try that next, and then we'll do the uh, do like a deep red with this. Let's put the deep red down, and then let's. All right, let's kind of. Just kind of slap that down. Or you could drag it around if you wanted to. That might be fun. Just do little, little drizzles. Just, just anything to give it more, more color. All right, just to add more layers to your project. You know, and you can do as little or as much as you want. All right, now let's get, oh, here it is. I don't wanna lose this. Let me get my, get some black paint. Put this off to the side. All right, so here we go. So here, and what I like to do when I'm using the roller, 
want to test this on a piece of paper because I don't want to clump up all over my my background. So you want to um, kind of roll off some of the paint there. Otherwise, it'll be okay. So here we go. go different ways. Let's go across. And then like Becky said too, you can make copies of this. You can um, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can, um, you know, pick out certain pieces and take pictures of those and make, you know, cards out of those. All right. Don't forget to go to your edges too. You want to make sure your your paint goes all the way over to the edges that it's not all in the middle. Make sure you have stuff going off your page. It just makes it more interesting. So we got one, one more there. So yeah, there's all different kinds of mark making you can do. Let me get some gold. I want to get some shiny gold paint and do some mark making with this. So what I'll probably do is I will take, I'm going to get my jelly plate. Okay, so I'm going to get my jelly plate. And roll some gold paint out on that and use that like an ink pad to get paint all over my mark making tool. That's what works the best for me. Let me get my gold paint. Got some dragon fluffy. Oh, here we go. All right, here's some metallic gold. Hopefully, this is a uh, deco art metallic gold paint. And I'll roll that on my jelly plate. Maybe if I can get the paint to come out. Ooh! Ooh. Well, wow. hmm, that should be plenty of paint. Let me get a brayer. Yeah, I think I think I got enough paint on my jelly plate. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna roll. This is actually good because it'll. Oh my goodness, that's a mess. Let's roll that out on some paper. Waste it. You get too much paint, just you see, you can roll it off. Roll it off your jelly plate, just like that. All right. Ugh. All right. So I take, I take this and I just place it down on my jelly plate. Make sure it's all filled with, and then just um, I'm 
may take a few times to uh, get paint on all this stuff. So it's probably good there's a generous amount of jelly plate, jelly on there, or uh, paint on my jelly plate. And then just go through. I don't know. So yeah, the more, I think my surface isn't even. This is a journal I've done stuff in before, so. But you want the marks, it makes it, that just makes the marks more random if your surface, surface isn't completely even. I could put my stamp pad, let me get my stamp pad under there and see if that helps. Hey, good morning, Eileen. It's about time. Where have you been? Where have you been? Got a whole page halfway done already. Okay, let's see if that helps. All right, so. Yeah, that helps a little bit. So just random, random marks all over your page. So the marks just kind of bring your page to life, add a little bit more interest. There. So that's good. So I'm happy. I think I'm happy with that. I don't want to, you don't want to overdo it with marks. You can put as little or as many as you want. And then the fun thing is after putting all that paint and using your gel print, you get to do a pull. So I'll just take one of my papers that I was using for leftover stuff, put it on the top, and I should get a pretty cool jelly pull. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm really happy how this turned out, and I'm anxious to see what the next prompts are to see how it's gonna get finished up. But so far, I'm really happy. We've got our background with pink and red. We've got uh, do punch outs, cutouts of hearts or circles, whatever you wanna do. Uh, layer of stencils, we got a silhouette, and then mark making. So, and everybody be sure to post on the Fibsville page so we can see what everybody's doing. And does anybody, Anybody have any questions? And then look at, here's the cool, here's the cool um, jelly print I got with that metallic paint. I think what I might do is when this dries, I may go back and punch out some gold hearts and add them to here. And you can do, I mean, you can keep adding, you can keep doing more stuff. But um, this has been really fun. I'm really happy. I'm uh, really happy with how this turns out. I need, I need to start getting up earlier and arting in the morning. So, so yeah, so come back tonight, 6 p.m. Central. Um, go to Mary's channel. She'll start everybody off. Um, in my description, I have a list of everybody who's in the stream who was in the stream this morning, who's in tonight. Hope you guys are having fun. I'm having a blast. This has been so much fun. And I can't wait to see, I can't wait to see what the rest of the prompts are. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Laura. Thank you again, Mary, for hosting this. This is, it's, this is so much fun. Every month I look forward to this. Thanks everybody. I want to thank you, Helen, for modding. Oh, and just I'll be on at 11 o'clock with Colleen. She's the scrap chick. If uh, Helen or Eileen want to put in Colleen's link, um, we'll be playing this afternoon. So see you there. If not, we'll see you at...
Mary's back with Mary at 6 Central this evening. Have a good Friday, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Okay, page like this when I saw it on Pinterest. Yes, go to Pinterest if you're looking for inspiration. And it just don't think about it. Just slap it on and see what happens. You can't go wrong. Okay, bye, everybody. Thanks for coming.